Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can customize your form and I will show you the tips and tricks of customizing your form based on your needs and let's get started. So I have created a folder here for customize, it's empty right now and you can use folders for managing access to your forms and also uh, organizing your forms and your data. So uh, here I have a customized form. I will add a new formula there. I'm like, I'll make it single step and then click on it. So each form has a title, of course, because you have to find it. But if you don't want to show it, you can go to the design tab and turn this show form title off. So um, I will name my form. Let's name it, uh, for example, a new form. And um, each form should have at least one field, of course. Uh, if you don't want to add a field, you can use a section field and it can be empty. It, uh, the title field is not mandatory. So I'll show the form, it's empty. It doesn't have any field, but it has actually a section field. So um, how does section field work? Uh, the section field is used for adding your text, images, um, links and iframes there. So um, you can leave the title empty or you can add a title there. If you want to customize the title, you can start typing right here. So uh, for this one, I will select it and choose heading one. It becomes big. Uh, and uh, you can change their font size uh, or their font name. And um, you have various options here for your section field, for the paragraphs you're adding and for um, the text you're putting there. So um, let's add an image and see how this works. So I've put an image here. And as you see, it's a very big image. And uh, to show it uh, as uh, fit and beautifully click on your image and uh, click on this image button here and here there's a width and you can put a hundred percent for your width so your image becomes a hundred percent and takes up the whole width of your uh, form view so let me show you how this works and yes perfectly it's showing and it's taking the whole width of your form. If you wanted to take half of it, you can put 50% or 30% or whatever you are. And also you can select your image and choose the uh, center alignment, or you can, for example, let's make this 70%, uh, save it. And it's aligned to center. And yes, it's aligned to center and it's taking 70% of the whole width of your form. You can also use custom CSS for that, but why use coding when you can avoid it? And also you can add GIF images there, so they will display in a fun way. And also you can put a code in your section field. So for example, let's say a calendar provider gives you uh, an iframe code and you want to embed your calendar inside your section field, and you can do that too. So in your section field, Go to the view menu and click the source code and it shows you the source code. Uh, just put an enter there and paste your code. Uh, it should be an iframe. Uh, the section field doesn't accept a script code and you should put an iframe there. So it's basically an iframe code like this and filled with some data and it will embed your calendar form or whatever um, tool you want to embed into your form there. So um, yeah, it's very helpful there. And uh, I hope this part was helpful. Let's get to the next part. Uh, the same happens for your description field and for your success message. So for your description field, it's exactly looking like your section field, as you see here. And everything that I just said applies to the description field and also the success message field. The next part is your settings tab. 
In the same step, you can customize the address of your form. For example, you don't want this random text uh, at the address. Uh, it's called a slug. So um, you want to change it to something like a uh, new form. Something like that, new form one. And you change it and save it, and your URL will be changed to this one. So um, I just changed the uh, slug of my form. You can change its category, which is the folder, and um, you can limit it to uh, one IP, uh, one submit per IP. Uh, and also one very helpful uh, feature here is the timer. So you can put uh, a timer on your form. So uh, when somebody is submitting your form, has to do it in a timeline. So, for example, I will add 0005. So, it will, if I refresh my form, it shows a timer here for five minutes, and I have five minutes to submit it. You can deactivate your form here. And, um, for example, you don't want to delete your form, but you want to deactivate it. So, uh, no more person can submit it again. And uh, you can add payment here. You can add pay payment methods, uh, which is exactly right here. Let me show it in a new tab. And uh, you can add your payment methods by going to here and add your payment method and use it in your form editor. So you can choose the method and it will be connected to your form. You can also add a fixed payment payment amount. So for example, um, your form, you want to ask for like $10 after your submit and it's a fixed amount. So uh, you can put it right here. But if you want it to be calculated based on the answer on your form, the answers on your form, you can go to the calculator tab and uh, calculate the price there. I don't have any, many fields here. There I have my field and I can add calculations to it. So if uh, the answer was option one, add like $10 to move my face to the right, $10 to the price. If the, it was option two, add like $20 to the price. And yes, if you save it, it will work perfectly. And you can show the final calculation after submission, which is enabled here. I just enabled it. And uh, yeah, I don't have an answer sheet, so that's it. And also, if you, if you don't want to use a dollar currency, you can change it right here. So uh, we have a bunch of currencies. Uh, most used um, on forums and you can choose them and you can customize them based on the currency of your choice. For example, you want it to be yours. You save it and your form will work based on yours. So yeah, uh, this is how calculator works. You can add, subtract, multiply, divide, and uh, this uh, amount can be uh, changed based on what you want. And it's working perfectly. Let's get back to our settings tab. Uh, here I explained almost everything. You can also add custom JS here, which works for your Google Analytics. So uh, if you want to, uh, for example, put a Google Analytics on your forms or a heap or a Hotjar field uh, code on your form so you can track uh, how your audience are interacting with your form, you can put them here and it will be added to the head of your form. The design tab um, can change your form from multi-step to single step or to a widget. The widget at the moment has uh, less options and uh, less fields as you see. And, uh, but the single step and multi-step field uh, forms have more options and uh, you can choose. For example, in the multi-step you can uh, avoid showing the first page. For example, let me show you. Uh, this is the first page uh, that is shown after, uh, at the beginning of uh, the form load, but you can hide it. You see, my first uh, field, which was a section field, is shown uh, at the beginning. So um, you can avoid showing the progress bar, which is here. You can uh, disable it, um, hide it. And you can avoid showing the form title in both multi-step and single-step forms. 
And for shuffling the order of choices, you can use this. So, for example, in this uh, single choice field, if I enable that, uh, it will shuffle the order of option one and two. So it works that way. Uh, of course, you can enable it on the field itself as well. Let me close the design tab. Uh, here on your option field, you can enable the shop and shuffle options or you can enable it in the design tab uh, so it works on all of your option fields not just one or two so um, it's that way and also you can use google fonts it's perfect and it's very interesting uh, and also you can change the colors so how do colors work the submit button color is here uh, of course it's uh, the button and the submit button so these button can uh, can change color uh, the submit button text color which is the text on the button background color so if you add a background image uh, it will come on top of your background color but if you don't have any background image you can change this fields color is here as you see Fields border color is the border around your fields, of course, and it works like this. And the text color, of course, is the text of your tiles and the text of the, the typing, um, whatever the, the user types in your forms. The other options you have are the themes I can change just like this by clicking on uh, these color um, circles and you can add a background image right here upload it here and if you add a background image here let me save it and show you yeah so here i have added a background image and you can put a color overlay on top of it which we call it a shadow for example i want uh, my shadow to be blue you see it, uh, it's like a mm, sort of transparent color on top of my background so the uh, text and my form items pop out, pop out. so um, you can also change the transparency of your color by changing this um, item here and and also you have the option to change the text on your form for example the continue button which is right here or the start button which was on the first page or the next buttons or the previous buttons these these two work on the single field single page forms that have page breaks let me change it to single page save it yeah and for example, let's say I want to add a new page after the name field. So I just go back to my form editor and uh, choose the page break and put it after the name field. Yeah. And it will show it this way. There is a next button and previous button, which uh, enable me to switch between the pages. And also, you can cha uh, change the design of your uh, forms by editing the custom CSS, which has a separate uh, tutorial. And also, there is a notification tab. Here, you can uh, send notifications to um, different emails. For example, send submitted data to the submitter. This needs a, an email field. So my form doesn't have an email field. If I add one here, um, this option will be enabled for me and I can turn it on. So uh, whenever the user submits their email address, a copy of their response uh, is emailed to them and they can have it there. And I can also send a notification email whenever someone submits my form uh, and I can add new email addresses here. So for example, I say info at signformaloo.com and remember to add a space uh, as written here, um, uh, separate your emails by space. So put a space here so it gets saved. And also 
I will say nochatformaloo.com and add a space here so it gets saved and save it. And the logic. I'll uh, record a new video for logic as well to describe it in more detail and how it's working. But basically, it's um, as easy as uh, clicking on the field and adding your logic. But if you didn't find the logic you have in mind, you can go to the advanced logic tab and uh, stick it here. So for example, if you want multiple conditions, um, you can put it here, add condition, add condition. They can be and or or. And uh, it's a perfect uh, logic solution for you. And you can also see the results of your uh, form right here. You have charts that show you how it's working. I will create a new video for describing how these charts work. And also you can see the table of responses. I don't have any response. I just created this form. And um, you can integrate your forms with other tools right here using Zapier or Paply. And you can connect your form to a Google Sheet and so it gets synced automatically. You can share your form right here. You can put customized link on a separate form. You can copy the link and share it with others. You can embed it on your website using iframe or script or widget. Uh, uh, that's when your form is a widget. And for the presentation mode, you can create a presentation mode by enabling this one. And um, the presentation mode is a perfect solution for showcasing your form besides your responses. So it's best for polls and uh, live polls, actually, because uh, the charts you have on your uh, presentation will be updated automatically and live without a refresh on your page. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you had any questions, just comment down below this video, or if you had issues on how you can uh, implement your use case, uh, leave a comment for us on our website's chat box, and we'll get back to you uh, in the first available time we have. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and get in touch with us.